So Taylor, <laughs> you know that there will be 20 questions. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. So first off, could you please describe yourself in three words? Okay, so I think the words that describe me are determined, um, passionate, and I'm really adventurous. So adventurous too. Very nice. Those are a good, a good uh, selection of three. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. If that's what makes up me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so what makes you happy? This question makes me think of my favorite place, uh, okay. which is Hawaii. And a few years ago on my birthday, I took a solo trip to Hawaii and I'd like never been that happy in my life. Like I had forgotten how beautiful the world can be. And it was like, every time I drove around a corner, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> how is this real? Um, so Hawaii and the ocean and the flowers and the landscape, <laughs> that makes me so happy. A good friend of mine comes from Hawaii and she lives oh. here in Luxembourg. So I need to uh, send a shout out to Maggie. <laughs> yeah, if Maggie still has family there, you guys should definitely go. It's probably a horrible flight from Luxembourg, but maybe worth it. Oh, definitely. And it's only like six hours for me. So that's, that's awesome. Exactly. So hopefully COVID figures itself out soon so people can start traveling again. Then we'll all meet I know. up and I know. Wouldn't that be great? Okay. What is your favorite food? Um, seafood of any kind, but sushi makes me very happy. Mm. <laughs> What's your favorite smell? Okay. So I was thinking about this one and I was like, Mira is not going to know what I'm talking about, but in the United States, you can buy prepackaged cinnamon rolls, like in a can and we have orange flavored cinnamon rolls. So you break open the can, you put them on your pan and then you put orange icing on them. And it's like the best, most appetizing, like pastry smell. And it's so stupid because it's like a really bad, like preservative rich food, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it's such a good smell. Hey, I need to make you finish cinnamon rolls. We call Ooh. them parva poste, which like, I know the smell you're talking about. I, I, okay. I've never known you can have cinnamon rolls in a can. That's like new <laughs> for me, but the smell is amazing. It's probably like a really gross American thing. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to try real finished ones. Is that where it started? The tradition of cinnamon rolls? I don't know where they come from. Let's see agree. Yeah, sure. Sure. Let's sure. go with that. I don't think Americans started it in their cans. <laughs> Pretty sure that we don't get to hone responsibility for that you know, one. I mean, all due respect, but no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's the first thing you do when you wake up? So I recently discovered this app called Marco Polo. Have, do you use that? Do you know what it is? No. It's like, um, it's kind of like leaving like video voicemails for your friends. Okay. And during COVID, it's been so cool because I can like record a short message and be like, hey, Amira, how are you? I'm doing blah, blah, blah. And then you can write me back three hours later and be like, hey, Taylor, I'm doing this. <laughs> and so I have a chat going with some girlfriends. And so okay. every morning... Uh, we check in, check in with each other, which is great because during COVID, it's like you can't do anything social and we're all like yeah. pretty outgoing people. So it's tough to like yeah. not have that connection. But with a video, it, it kind of feels kind of feels like you're doing something social and it's yeah. more personal than like a text. So I check, I check in with my friends on Marco Polo first thing Aww. every day. I need to check that out. <laughs> that sounds really nice. Okay. What is something that you hate? Mean people. <laughs> I have like vowed that anytime that I get to have any say in like who I work with or who I surround myself with it's like those people don't get to be in my circle it it just makes me crazy it feels like it's so much less energy to be kind so I don't oh it makes me nuts so <laughs> I really hate that uh are you right-handed or left-handed right-handed what about you right-handed as well are you okay yeah. mm -hmm. um what is your favorite genre of movie um, dramas. I like love to watch things that make me feel miserable, which <laughs> probably says something about me, but I, I love the dramas. I love how you put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's the reality. Um, what was your favorite subject at school? Does college count? Yeah, sure. Okay. Then if, if college counts, then definitely film. Uh, I was originally studying journalism and then they closed down the school of journalism because I think they decided it was like a dying field or something. And so I took all these really random classes the next semester and one of them was film. 
And I fell in love with it. And I was like, I don't care if I have to live in a cardboard box for the rest of my life. Like I'm doing this. And I like changed my degree the next day. And I'd never watched a foreign film. And the very first film they showed was a French film called Blue. And it just like, I couldn't handle it. It like blew my mind. I didn't understand that like film could be art. Mm -hmm. And once I got that, I was like, oh man, I'm in. And um, anyway, and I, I pursued a career in film and that's what I've been doing most of my career. That is so, so interesting. So it really just started in college. Like it wasn't mm -hmm. like a, a childhood dream of yours. No, I mean, I'd already always liked movies, but I grew up in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. So there wasn't like a movie theater. It's not like mm -hmm. art film was like a thing that anyone ever talked about. I didn't even know that that existed. What's your favorite animal? Okay, this is going to sound so weird. But when I was working in Montana, I got to meet some baby goats and they're just like funny, weird animals. And they like hop and oh. like try and get to the highest point of things. They like want to climb up stuff. I don't know. They're like weird. It's a barnyard animal. I'm never going to have one, but I just think they're funny and they make me laugh. So I like, I like the little, little tiny goats are my favorite. <laughs> they're very cute. Somebody was just telling me that. How random is that? But somebody was just going on about like how. That is random. Are. <laughs> uh, what music do you listen to? everything that's a hard question to answer because like last night I was listening to like Bill Withers who he's that guy who sings that ain't no sunshine song oh, okay song? okay um and who's like somebody a random singer from the 70s um but but I listen to like a little bit of everything uh I love Nora Jones I think she's amazing mm -hmm. I think uh Gregory Allen Isakoff is awesome I'm still hooked on John Mayer even though I don't think he's made anything new in a million years but I think his music's so good I, I love Radiohead I I kind of I jump all over the place any given night you'll find me listening to all, any different genre in any different language I like I don't know I'm indecisive when it comes to music cool. uh what is your favorite color uh, red and I'm almost always wearing red so it's kind of ironic that I'm not right now but I love red <laughs> okay so a genie grants you three wishes what are those three wishes okay so selfishly kind of selfish I I would really like for the podcast that I'm working on to be picked up by a network because I think the story I'm trying to tell is really 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 important and something that people need to hear yeah. and I really I love the idea of it reaching a much larger audience. I mean, it's already reached a pretty big audience, but I, but, but you know, bigger would be cool. So, so I think if a, if a genie were to, <laughs> I think I would hope that that could be turned into a television series. Cause I do think it's an important story. This is also selfish, but it has been really cold here, like really cold and snowy really? and awful. And I would like to live in Hawaii part-time. I would like to like spend the winter and just relocate to Hawaii and then come back here and see my friends and family during yeah. the other six months. But mm -hmm. that would be great. And on a more global level, I yeah. really wish COVID would go away. I think that would be my third. Oh. I think we're also ready for this like vaccine to come to fruition yeah. so we can just like move on with our lives. So that would absolutely be a wish. That would be a really good wish. But for the, for your first wish, I don't think you need a genie for that. It's just a matter of time. I, <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I really hope so. What is your favorite day of the week? Um, Saturday, because Saturday tends to be when I actually relax. I say that loosely because I often work on Saturdays, but yeah. I try to at least make one day a week where I like chill out. So if and when that happens, it's usually a Saturday. What do you like most about yourself? I like that I am resilient. Um, I feel like I know a lot of people who've been through hard stuff and then they just kind of go, well, I'm a victim now and my life is horrible. And I, like, I feel like I lucked out that I got whatever gene that made me keep bouncing back. Cause whenever something right. difficult happens, like, yeah, obviously like you're upset just like everybody else. But um, I like that I am able to bounce back. What would you then change about yourself? I have never been very good at balance. I am the kind of person who works like a million hours a day mm -hmm. and doesn't know when to stop. Like I'll do things like garden in the backyard, which should be a fun, relaxing thing. And I'll be like, I will do this till my hands bleed. And it's like, that's <laughs> not like, it's something I'm working on. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to be more just like chill and like take time to be still. And like, right. I'm learning, I've gotten a lot better at it, but I'm still. Uh, if you could go back in time, where would you want to go? 
honestly, I probably wouldn't want to go back in time because I'm kind of a weenie <laughs> and I feel like, <laughs> like, like life was harder in the past. It was so much harder. Like mm -hmm. everything was difficult, especially for women. Like, right. I think there was a whole lot less choice in like, what do I want to do with my life? Do I want to have children or not? Do I, it was like, everything was kind of set out for you and like, you will do this. And even if you yeah. don't want to do it, like, so I probably wouldn't, unless it was like for like a day, if it was for a day, then like, I think it would be really interesting to go back to like the 1920s in the United States and see like, what was a real speakeasy like during prohibition? Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. See like oh, women in flapper dresses and like, I don't know. It just seems romantic. It probably wasn't. It was probably <laughs> terrible in reality, but the way they depict it in movies seems pretty mm -hmm. glamorous. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you could have a superpower, what superpower would you like? I think it would be so cool to be able to read people's minds because mm -hmm. I, I am a fairly intuitive person anyway. So I feel like in general, I'm able to kind of pick up on like what people are feeling. Yeah. But wouldn't that be cool to be able to go like, I know exactly where that person's at, like what's going on in there. That'd be so cool. That would be cool. Maybe to like tell the future or both. That would be cool. Okay. What advice would you give your past self? Um, probably that balance is a good thing and that it's okay to slow down a little bit. Like when I was in high school, I was like, I should be the student council president and on the principal's forum and on the drama team and on the blue. Yeah. And it's like, why? why like some of that yeah is necessary to like yeah. get to college but not to the extent I did it like I think uh, we don't let kids be kids for very long mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and I I think that was self-inflicted uh, on in my case I was like I should work full-time and go to school and like it wasn't really necessary and I did mm -hmm. it anyway so I think if yeah. I was looking back on it, it's like that was probably excessive mm. no I get that I get that. And yeah. finally, what is your motto in life? Um, I don't know what my motto in life is, but I, the, when, this question reminds me of, so I told you about my friends who were all in our Marco Polo conversation. Yeah. So I have this one friend who every morning she gets up and she drinks out of her coffee mug that was given to her by a girl who's kind of a jerk. And <laughs> so she was telling us every time I drink out of this coffee mug, it makes me sad because this girl was mean to me and the, the mm -hmm. mug says something like we're best friends or I don't know and so anyway my my other friend was like why are you keeping that just throw it away it's a mug it would cost three dollars to buy a new mug like get rid of the mug just throw away the mug and so now that's become our saying anytime anything's going on in it, one of our lives like a situation or a person who sucks then we're just like throw away the mug throw away just get rid of it throw it away. and I <laughs> I think that's, like, I mean, it's kind of silly, but I, but I like the idea of it. It's like, we're grownups. We get to choose what our lives look like. So exactly. why yeah. invest? In Definitely throw away that mug. I like exactly that. throw away the mug. <laughs> that's a great <laughs> answer. Fantastic. Taylor, you've survived the 20 questions and now it's time to get onto your episode. Wonderful.